Hi everybody, Robert Jones back in the tasting kitchen with you today. No, it is not the tasting kitchen. Let's try that again. Hi everybody, Robert Jones in the kitchen with you today doing something kind of special. So about a week and a half ago, I was back home in Santa Barbara. I visited a bunch of people, went and saw my parents, saw a bunch of other friends, did all the, the eating of the restaurants and that kind of stuff. Um, there'll be a video about that on my second channel pretty soon. But while I was there, and pick these up, I got these magical fruits. Uh, my parents share a giant avocado tree with about uh, three other neighbors, and um, some of them don't eat the avocados at all. And I mean, literally, they produce hundreds of pounds of these Haza, Haza avocados, and they are luscious. They are delicious. So I um, brought a bag full home. Um, the rule is if you pick some, you got to pick some from you and you got to pick some from mom and dad. So I hope they enjoyed theirs as well. Um, anyway, they are coming ripe. And before there was avocado toast on the hipster scene, there was avocados in Santa Barbara my whole life. So like 50 years plus, it used to be that people had avocados in baskets in front of their house. And it would say five for a dollar or a quarter or whatever. And you would just go and get yourself some avocados off their porch. So never bought them, never paid an extra dollar, a dollar fifty at the Chipotle or any of that kind of crap. But these avocados are delicious. The tree is probably 40 years old and produces just delicious avocados. So let me educate you a little bit here. So avocados, um, when you see them in the store, you will see that they often have the little tip here, the little stem still attached. That is what you want because when it falls off like this one, sometimes you can get mold or rotting inside and things like that. So if you see the stem, that's a good thing. So let's transform these into some salsa. Now there's lots of different kinds of salsa. When you say salsa, it just means sauce. So in this case, it's going to be a tomato and avocado guacamole of sorts. I'm not gonna mash it. I'm gonna leave it whole like for a salad or whatever. It can be served with fish. It can be served with beef. It can be served with carnitas. It can be served with anything. Truly, it is really delicious. If you don't like the cilantro, you could use parsley or a squeeze of lime juice or something else. But I love cilantro, so that's what I'm gonna use today. All right, let's get started. Super easy. We're over here at the cutting board and I just wanted to start out by saying that avocados are magical, if I haven't already said this before. And if you can find them with a stem still on, it means that they're actually going to stay fresher longer. This one has a small blemish. Um, it's from our family house. It's not, you know, nothing to worry about. Um, but sometimes when the stem is out, they get moldy in here and they over ripen too fast. So um, if you can find the avocados with the stem, all the better. There's a note. Stem gone. Okay, this is super easy. What I do is I just cut down right in front of that so that it's on one side, not both sides, and then just go around the avocado, like so. And then you'll see, you just pop it open, the dupe. And here's a really easy trick. Just take your knife, put it into the seed, give it a twist, and boom, the seed comes out. We'll just do it again on the other one. Twist, pop. And again, the next thing I do is I look to see if there's any growth or anything like that. Just, um, you can see that this is, um, this is this, the, the avocado starting to grow. There's a little inclusion there. No big deal. Just take that out. Okay. Then just take the tip of the knife. The avocado is soft, put it in and you can feel it on the bottom of the skin and just drag it along the meat on the skin. Don't worry, you won't cut yourself. It's not going through the skin. It's just going down through the soft meat. Just make a couple of slashes and then you go the other way. You can go diagonal, you can go straight, whichever. In this case, I'm just doing about a quarter inch and we'll just do that to all of these. <laughs> There you go. Now, again, you don't have to do this. This is just so it makes a nice dice when you scoop it out. Okay, I just have a bowl here and I just take a spoon. Get these out of the way here so you guys can see. Just take the spoon, 
Now remember this has a little belly button there, so I go right in front of that and then just scoop around the skin. And look at that, it just comes out. And then just make sure you get it all. Scoop around there. Look at that, nice and clean. And again, this one doesn't have the belly button, that's why I always put it on one side, because then you can just do a full scoop. Look at that, how nice is that? Look at that, clean and shiny. This one has the belly button. Whoops. Give me. And this one does have the belly button. Now you can see, if you're using the Haas avocados, scrape them clean, get it all. And then I just set this aside. Next up, I have two tomato and a serrated knife. I like to use a serrated knife. And I just chop these right down the middle. I like a serrated knife because it goes through the tomato skin easily. And I just chop out the stem area because I don't like that. And when I go to a restaurant and I see that in there, I'm kind of crazy. All right, I know. It's just a thing. And then to do the tomatoes, I just find it very easy. I just make thin slices this way. And I do all of mine at the same time. And then I just go the other way, and that way all the dice and mess is in the same area. If you like to dice your tomatoes a different way, feel free. It's the way that I find easiest. By the way, you can use whatever kind of tomatoes you want. I just use these because they're ripe and I like them. like that super easy and we can just take those and slide them into the bowl you can see that we got our red and green going on okay let's set those aside let's clean up a bit here okay so we've got our bowl I have some fresh cilantro that I chopped up yesterday. Just plain cilantro there. I also have some salt. And I happen to have some roasted serrano chilies that I did the other day. So you can use whatever salsa or hot sauce you'd like. If you have bottled sauces, sometimes I will use sriracha. Sometimes I'll use tapatillo. Sometimes I'll use Valentina. Yes, we like hot sauce. So, but today we're just going to use the fresh that I made. So it's just, as, like I said, it's just Serrano chilies that I roasted in the oven, peeled the charred part off and put through the blender. So there you go. Okay. Move this down all here so y'all can see a little bit better. Okay, this is super easy, you guys ready? You take some cilantro. You take some chili sauce. In my case, I know about two scoops, so that will be good. And just a big pinch of salt. Because it's tomatoes and avocados, and I like it to have some flavor. All right, check that out. Just everything all in there. Okay, just taking some pictures for the Instagram. By the way, you can follow me on Instagram if you'd like. Okay, got your tomatoes, I got your avocados, got your salsa and uh, salt and cilantro, that's it. Just give it a light toss. You don't have to get crazy. And since most of the avocados were chopped up in the skin, you don't have to do much there. I like to preserve them and not mush them up too much. So I just give everything a toss. I want that salt to go through. And since you have the tomatoes in there, you don't need to add any lime juice because that'll be enough acidity to keep your avocados nice and green. Look at that, you guys. 
Okay, I'm just gonna take a little serving of this and put it in a cup so we can do a taste test for you guys. Look at this, beautiful. Tomatoes, avocados, cilantro. All right, a little bit more because it's gonna be a snack too. So, there you go. All right, let's get it a taste, you guys. Told you, super easy. Look at that, look at that. Yes, super easy to make. So we've got our tomatoes, we've got our avocados. Looks so delicious, I'm so excited. All right, you guys. It is the moment you've been waiting for. Woo! Been waiting for that for like 20 minutes since I've been making this. Okay, it doesn't take 20 minutes to make this, but I've been making it for 20 minutes because that's what happens when you're filmmaking. All right, you guys, check it out. Look at that. All right, you guys, look at that. It looks so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. I can think of nothing better as a salad. Lightly spicy, lightly salty, super creamy because of those avocados being ripe. Tomatoes, I love tomatoes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Right, let's have one more. Mmm, a little zing of cilantro there. Mmm. Now, you could totally serve this with chips totally serve it in a tortilla or you can simply serve this as a side salad to go with anything I'm telling you you have some roast beef you have some uh, pork you have some fish you put this on the side your friends and family will love you there you go guys all right remember the avocado is much more versatile than just toast try out a different recipe try out something new I'm Robert Jones this is Unimonia's Mark II if you enjoyed this Please hit the like, hit the subscribe, come on back for more. Making all kinds of stuff. As of yesterday, I had 41 videos in the can that I need to edit, so there's lots going on. Oh, by the way, did you know that there are Everyday Santa t-shirts? Check out the Etsy link below. All right, you guys, I'm Robert Jones. Take care. Bye. And it used to be that you could get Hair in your mouth. Yeah. It used to be. <clears throat>